What's up friends this is Devaru from Top 5 Bus and today in this video I am going to show you how to edit your night sky photograph, your Milky Way photograph and change your raw file like this, like this and like this. So let's start. Okay, so let's open the Adobe Lightroom and let's select the image by which I will show you how I used to edit Milky Way Galaxy photographs. Okay, now as you can see, this image is already edited. So for you, I am resetting it and start the editing from the scratch. So let's reset. Okay, right now you can see the original raw image. And it was taken during my last trek, which was Kashmir Great Lakes trek. I used Nikon D5300 and the setting was 25 second of exposure, 3.5 aperture and 3200 ISO. If you are new in night sky star photography, you can watch my previous video on night sky photography tutorial. You can get the video link above and also in the description. Before I start, I want to tell you that there is nothing an exact flow of editing photo or Milky Way photos like this and you can do it your own way like play with the numbers and see the changes and decide yourself which is going good for your image. So let's start with this image. As you can see the image has a part of Milky Way and a foreground object which is a tent. Also the image is underexposed and all the peaks in this histogram at the left side so we need to balance it little bit so we need to increase the exposure up to 1.8 to 2 let's make it 1.8 and edit and increase the clarity up to 60 or you can keep it up to 45 or 50 around 50 now you can see the sky is changed and uh, most of the stars come up remember that Exposure and clarity are the main two things you need to adjust in Milky Way photos. So now let's edit this main section of the Milky Way. For that uh, we need to select the radial filter and select the exact section of the Milky Way. After selecting this section you have to mark the invert option this is the important one always mark the invert option after selecting the radial filter now let's increase the exposure little bit contrast up to 40 or 45 let's make it 49 and the saturation up to 60 or maybe 55 now you can see the purple color is coming out from the milky way which is natural and also the yellowish color the bright color is coming up Also let's increase the clarity little bit. Let's make it 15. And lastly increase the temperature up to no it's too much. Let's make it up to 4. Now we can increase the area of the filter 
or you can decrease so let's increase the area of the filter so you can see the milky way is coming up with bright color now you can adjust the number as per your choice like you can decrease the expose a little bit it is looks fine this area it was little bit over exposed before okay so let's make it done after editing the sky section I'm going to edit the foreground section which is mostly the dark area and for editing this section I'm going to choose the graduated filter let's select this area see with the marks overlay and then increase the shadow you can see there are a few sections which are not black out totally so for that we need to use adjustment brush let's select the adjustment brush let's decrease the exposure decrease the brush size and paint it this section this section and click done now you can see apart from the tent the other area is black so it will pop up the tent in this frame also you can edit this bluish area with the adjustment brush select another new brush double click the effect to make all the settings zero and then again decrease the exposure and paint in this area So right now it looks good and you can see the before and after image from here and see the difference this is the raw file before editing and this is the current one after editing so you can see the difference so let's wrap up with the framing the image for this i'm going to select crop option and let's crop it this way i think this is the perfect frame for this image looks good so here is the before image and here is the after image so guys this way i usually edit my milky way and night sky photographs and hope this will help you at the time of editing your photos your night sky photos your milky way photographs and if you think this is really helpful for you please do like my video and please do comment in these videos and uh, ask me if you have any question and also don't forget to share this video with your friends help them to edit their night sky photographs their milky way photographs so that's it and we'll meet again in our next tutorial next video and keep watching keep supporting me and till then travel share and inspire